Pages is Apple's word processing tools. It's simple to use, has a great design, and is packed full of really powerful features. So let's look at getting started. Let's open Pages from the Get Started. Opens up in the usual view with your recent documents, and then you can scroll down to your tag documents or you can browse for a document, but we're going to create a new, so we're just gonna hit plus in the top right hand corner. Lots of lovely templates. So you've got things like CV, and you can choose from the top, but if you've got the basic, it just turns into a, a very basic word processor. So um, basic is just word processing, all the rest are templates. We'll have a look at some of these templates later on, but um, let's just go straight in. Just create a blank one always change the name first and here we are just into the normal um, iWorks layout so we have you can just start typing straight away if you want to add something in over here you've got your add buttons your format buttons um, this takes you back to the documents page that we were just in and this button here is you can turn on the page thumbnails which is down the side there so if you want to see a little bit more of your work in terms of over a bigger project you can have two pages side by side word count the ruler on the top and turn on smart annotations which I will talk about in a later video If we want to um, format anything or add anything, um, it's really easy to do this. So we, we've typed in there, you don't have to do anything to add in and type in. So, but if we wanted to, uh, to change how that looks in the format, we just go to the paintbrush here and you've got your usual range of doing fonts, changing the styles of fonts, all those types of things. There's lots of really lovely new fonts in the latest update. Um, obviously size, everything down here. You've got your bold, lots of things. And if you tap on the three dots at the end, it brings up more um, things. So you can have uh, your baseline, your, capitalize, your capitalization, your ligatures. You can outline the text if, if you wanted to with, with lots of different colors. And you can have a text background. So if you were highlighting something in, um, and you needed to highlight, that's the way, way you would go for that. Um, as well as this, what I really like is um, you've got your columns, which obviously is a standard thing, so you can have two different columns. But the new feature that I, I really particularly like is the drop cap. Um, I will just create a bit of a, a larger paragraph and I'll show you how that works. So what you would do is you would turn on drop cap and it turns that first letter of the paragraph into um, a large letter which just adds a bit of style to your work and then you've got a few different options here how you're going to have that which I, I really really like. Um, if we want to add in something else, we can just come down here, we can add in all the usual things, we can add in a photograph, we can take a photograph, audio, image gallery which we will look at later, we can insert from our files or from Google Drive or uh, or any other cloud storage that you're in. Um, you can do drawings and equations, shapes there, there's lots of lovely shapes in here. Um, hundreds and hundreds of shapes have been added but if you go to basic shapes, uh, just add these shapes in and you can make them any size that you wish uh, and if you double tap in the middle of them they become a text box as well which is a bit easier to um, to kind of style if you will um, otherwise you add text here and it adds a text box just a blank text box um, and then you've got all of your charts things like that add so we can add a pie chart in if need be and then we've got our tables here so we could add in a table um, although there are a lot of different styles of table, we could add in a table um, and we could edit how many columns just by using the handles on the top and the bottom there. So adding things is really, really easy. If I wanted to format anything, say for example here, I can pull these these bits apart, but if I want to format, uh, just hit the, the paintbrush there, 
and whatever object you have selected with the blue handles you can then play about with and you can change colors and you can edit the series so you can change what those things are um, again just the same with anything here so if i go to format the, the let's go for the shape format the shape we can change the paragraph style in there again um, we can go to colors choose colors we can fill it with images so you might want to choose a photograph that you've got there all those kind of things everything is really easy it's either add something or if you want to change it get the paintbrush what i really like is as well is i haven't selected any objects there i've just selected the page that i'm on and if i go to the format button here i can um i can change the document layout so i can change it if i want to i can change the paper size i can add headers and footers but if i go to the section i can then go to background and i can choose the color of the background which makes it a little bit more personalized or i could add in an image so say for example um i could have my document with an image in, in the background so adding in format is really really simple and really really easy Now the great thing about pages is um, you don't have to be a creative genius to make your books look good or your work look good. It comes preloaded with all these really, really great templates and you can create your own templates as well. You can save those as a template. Um, but <clears throat> obviously these are the ones that we've looked at recently on the top. And then when you come to reports, there's lots of different style reports um, for you to have a look at here. So if you were using it with pupils, you might want to do a certain type of report. The books are lovely. We'll have a look at those in a minute. There's just a lot of new ones being put in there. Novels and um, really nice layouts. And then you've got your books landscapes here, which if we stop and have a look at one of these in a moment, you've got all of your letter templates. You've got flies and posters, newsletters. You can make birthday cards and postcards personalized. Um, Lots of things here that would be really useful in the classroom. This is a template that I made, a very basic one a while back um, to support coding and I just saved it as a template. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to go and have a look into um, something like training book. Now what this does is when it opens it up, you will see down the side there are pages already set out here. And basically, this is your template to use. So it's got an image that's already in, in the background here. Um, what you'll notice is um, when you tap around it, you've got your your, um, your blue handles as normal. But what you'll notice in the bottom corner is if you hit the plus, and if you go to your own, you can start to put um, your own backgrounds in there. So it's already set as a placeholder. So basically, everything is set there for you as a placeholder and if you tap on the text you can edit the text and again you can format that in whichever way you want but it's set out there as a very basic template you go to the next page it's all it's all very stylish it's already been done for you you can personalize it by um if i want to go in here i can change the background here so say um it was for a business or something like that you can change the color scheme anything like that again edit the text and then you have these boxes that are put in there and the text layered all over the top and it, it's it's all set out just to help you get a head start on on how, how to do things and again you can you can move these around you can switch sides if you so wanted to and lots of other things like this um so you, you can really personalize it but it's a really good starting point if you're looking to create a book uh, as i said there are lots and lots of lovely templates in here and um, placeholders really good idea if you set these out for pupils in the classroom say for a science experiment this might be a great page because you might ask them to do three tasks you might ask them to you could set this at the top you could put in what the the experiment or the learning was you could change this bit underneath with a little bit of a description and when they hit the placeholders they can add in their own photographs again so the templates are really really good um, i'm just going to go and have a look at the template that we created last time um apologies just go back into plus right down the bottom and if i go into templates now this is a template that i created for um our class to use um when they were learning swift playgrounds and they were doing um the learn to code 
Um, all I did was this, as you can see, this is just objects, asking them to put in photographs. They can change things there. Um, it's just shapes and shapes and pictures and things like that. Put in some pictures, put in what our lesson was to explain what they did, to reflect, ask for a photograph here, I asked for a video, and I did this for every lesson. And the idea was that they could type into here and they could change it if they wanted to, or they could, um, I put in the microphone so they could record their audio. And I saved this as a template by just literally hitting the um, three dots and export as a pages template. And then as soon as you do that, it appears right in the bottom of the template. So anytime that you need something, you can have a, a, your, your template made there. So books are a really good idea and a great way to share them with class. And of course you can make your own and then you can save them as templates so that you can always find those without having to search through documents. Um, and then you can use these, these templates as many times as you like.